What's up my shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video I have an amazing Target haul for you guys. I am so excited. There are so many things I feel like I'm gonna really have to blow through this video because there are so many goodies that I do not want to pass up and I do not want to split into two videos because I want you guys to get your hands on them before they sell out. This includes furniture, clothes, kitchen items, literally everything you need in your life of course they have it at Target and of course you need it in your life. So if you are interested in seeing this Target haul, then just keep watching. Okay. I just want to start out by saying I'm so excited. I'm, I feel like a child. I got a new filming desk and I feel like it's so spacious and my little thing fits on here so perfectly. My microphone, my mirror. I just, you know, it's the little things in life sometimes. All right, let's go ahead and hop into this video. There are so many good things that I cannot wait to talk to you about. I have my list here so I stay on track. I, of course, as always, will link everything below as well as go through each item and show them in video or picture so you can get an up-close look at what they look like and how I use them and utilize them in my home. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this Colsey hoodie. You guys, it is so good and long like a tunic that I don't know why they don't have it in every color. They do have it paired normally with their black and lace uh, biker shorts. They also have it in black, blue, and I believe, I believe one other color, if not just the two. But it is an amazing length. It definitely hits mid thigh, has the slits up the side, and is so comfortable and versed. I, I believe they consider it like a black acid wash, but it is just like a lighter black to me. So I don't want you to feel like you're going to get it and you're going to scream, you know, 80s acid wash because that's not at all what it looks like in person. And that's also another reason why I like to share the side-by-sides with you guys so that you can see up close on me. Okay, next is going to be the leopard pajamas from Colsey. <sighs> These are the most soft, comfortable pajamas ever. I am loving how they're coming out with this waistband that's just like this really thick, nice spandex instead of this really skinny one that cuts into you and makes you feel like you need to go on a salad diet. So they are this beautiful off-white bone and beige leopard print, which I think is amazing. It's definitely a different take on leopard. And the top is like a sweater that's uh, got a raw crop. However, the pants are really high-waisted, so it really brings that balance together. So you only have a little bit of skin showing, which I love. Um, very affordable and by the brand Colsey. They did have a couple of other prints, I believe, um, not prints, excuse me, uh, options though as, as far as colors. One is like a sand taupey color, one is a, I believe, a green color. The San Toby color, though, looked a little orange to me, so I didn't go with that. Otherwise, you know, I would always pick naturally a neutral color, but I love them. They're super soft, super comfortable, and I don't know if they are part of the fun run, but they do have the fun run going on right now, which means 20% off. So go ahead and stock up on your stuff now. Next is going to be this kitchen brush, which, you know, it was one of those things that I didn't know that I needed, and it is amazing. It is a regular scrub brush, but the reason I love it is because it sits in a dish, first of all, that's aesthetically pleasing, and you put your soap underneath so that when you push down on the spring attachment inside, you're getting soap in there. So it's not just sitting inside of this dish. It has the soap inside of it. Like it's the one thing I didn't know that I needed. And now I feel like I cannot live without it. So definitely amazing to have not only for cleaning, but it looks good if you want to leave it on top of the counter. And that's my biggest thing is that when I'm decorating or I'm cleaning or organizing, I want things to be useful, but I also want them to look right and look not out of place, if that makes sense. So, you know, I think that that's a great way to do it. Target just, you know, they're just always surprising me every day. Moving on to the next item, you guys, 
This Studio Miggy stuff is really getting me into trouble. <laughs> She's just making me constantly redo my house. But this is a beautiful, extra long outdoor couch. I saw it in person in the store, but it is the smaller version. So I went online and looked when they finally dropped it online and they do have it available in a longer, bigger version. And I'm telling you, it is perfect for my space outside. I'm not yet done with it, but the way that I styled it with the pillows and then the one plant in the corner, I'm loving the way that it's looking. I just need to get another plant, something on the wall, and then we'll be moving on to the next part of the outdoor phase of redecorating, but I love it. It's a very comfortable, very affordable. Outdoor furniture is so expensive and I really don't know why. I mean, I understand it's supposed to be, you know, somewhat indestructible, but goodness, it is like no matter where you go, TJ Maxx, Target, high and low end, like they're all very expensive. So I do feel like it is somewhat affordable. It's not going to completely break the bank. And because it's extra, extra big, it's going to take up that space. If you have that nice classic outdoor, you know, patio area that you want some nice seating in. I also love the pillows and the fact that the cushion that it comes with on the bottom is removable. So if you do need to wash it and get stains, you can definitely clean it that way. The pillows are like a whole vibe with that color palette. I don't know if they're, I mean, I'm 99% sure they're outdoor, but I feel like if I could get away with using them indoors, they would look really good on my new couch. Jack probably wouldn't go for that. But anyways, I digress. It's amazing. I love the caning. Caning just to me is like pompous grass. Like it's just beautiful and full of texture. It is a nice metal material. And then the caning on the back is definitely thicker. So I'm not worried about it. Um, strength wise, I feel like it's definitely going to be something that lasts. All right. And next is my forever bathroom that I am always trying to complete. And I am like 90% of the way there. I shared this recently on my Instagram stories. If you don't follow me there, you definitely should. I definitely was not happy with the way that the bathroom was and I wanted to do something more to complete it, but I wasn't sure what that was. So I took an older shower curtain I had upstairs. I brought it downstairs. I love the way that that looked. It wasn't so squeaky white, if that makes sense. Some bathrooms definitely can be that way, but I feel like they need a lot of natural light if you're going to do just white, 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 white. This bathroom has no natural light. So I brought that um, shower curtain down. I definitely was encompassing some darker colors just to kind of balance everything out. And then I realized that the mirror that I had just, I didn't like the color. It blended in too much. It was that beautiful, um, I don't know if it's the Opal House brand. I'll link it below for you guys, but it is that mirror that I know you've seen everywhere and it's that in the wood tone color. So I go online I'm buying all these different mirrors, trying them, trying to find something that, you know, is going to fit this space. It's very difficult to do that. I was trying, 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 returning, trying, returning. And then I went online um, to the actual mirror that I bought and realized that it comes in black. This whole time I have been trying to... So I purchased the mirror. It comes, it's cracked in a million pieces. I'm devastated because now, of course, it's out of stock. So I have to stock the website, notify me when it's available. A couple days later, maybe a week, week and a half tops, finally becomes available again. Snag it, get it, and thank God this was in one piece. And you guys, I love the way that it looks. It's so beautiful, so perfect for that space. The width, the length, I love it. So if you are looking for a good, affordable, super affordable mirror, then I will definitely link this below. It comes in two colors. If you are able to get that lighter color, it's beautiful with like an all white bathroom, just a little bit of that natural wood tone. Unfortunately, it just didn't work for me, but I love that mirror. Okay, moving on to some more accessories. I feel like I finally completed this console, but the threshold, I believe, brand that came out with all of the different shapes of those. They look like baking soda painted um, vessels. 
of course, I had to get another one to complete that console. And it's that beautiful bowl. I love the shape, the size. I think it's amazing, super versatile. You can use it anywhere in your house. Throw some moss in it, leave it plain, put some beads in it. But I love it because I have the other white vessel at the top. So I'm trying to kind of bring some white in and balance that super dark black console in that bedroom. Um, I love the way that it looks. It's very affordable. And like I said, that whole line comes in so many different shapes and sizes that you could get them all or get one and be totally good to go decorating on a budget. Moving back to clothes. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am like on this obsession with their <laughs> sweatpants and graphic tees. I don't know what it is just like I'm in this trance right now and I can't get out of it. But they have, and I've talked about this before, but I'm gonna talk about it again because if you are into loungewear or athleisure wear or having really cute, nice, aesthetically pleasing pajamas at home so you don't look like a vagabond, then I'm telling you, these are for you. These Wild Fable sweatpants are so good and so perfect and so comfortable. And I'm telling you right now, I'm talking about it again because I have done the due diligence. I have washed them, dried them, laid them out to dry, put them in the dryer, worn them around the house, stained them, spot treated them, everything, and they're still so good. And I love specifically this white color that I have on now, but I of course will insert a video so I'm not, you know, messing up my little scene I got going on here. But I love them, they're so comfortable and so dang affordable, not to mention the fact that they come in a ton of different colors. Now, I've said this in my other video and I'm going to repeat myself. So be careful when you're looking at them online though because I believe the camo pair and one other pair are not the same style. Not to say they're not good because I, I have the camo pair, but I want you to know that if you're looking for these exact ones, which is the flat, thick, elastic band at the waist, then the camo ones and maybe one or two others are not it. So you're gonna have to look at the pictures when you're looking online because I don't know why they lump them all into one category uh, for whatever reason, but the ones that you're looking for have the thick front elastic waistband and they are very simple and very plain. So I will show you, like I said, in a video and a picture besides so you can see all of the detail. I have the white, I have the camel, which is like the perfect brown color. I am obsessed with that color. I also have, I have another color. I have the camo ones and I think I have one more color. I don't remember what it is, but they're amazing. Super comfortable. Like I said, no pilling, no issues washing them and white. I was like, Ooh, I don't know about white, but it's good. The only thing that they're missing is a plain black pair. I do have ones that are similar with a drawstring, but they're not the same. You know what I mean? They're just not the same as that flat, thick, elastic waistband. It's just the quintessential sweatpants. Speaking of the sweatpant, they also made, they call them the dolphin short. I don't know why, who came up with that name, but I have them in two colors. Also that camel color and black. They were smart enough to come up with those in black. And I love doing the same thing, just wearing those graphic tees around the house. They're high waisted, they're short, they're comfortable, they're fleece on the inside, and they're only $12 with 20% off for the fun run. So I believe this video will be up in time. I'm planning on posting today in the fun run. I believe it's the last day today. Let me double check while we're here, just so I do not misinform you. Yes, it's still 20% off. It is going on until March 13th today. So I'm gonna hurry up and get this posted for you so you can save your 20% off. That puts you at 240, and that puts you right around $10 for those shorts. Seriously, you cannot beat that. I did get mine in a size medium. I will list all of my sizes below, but I do get all of my bottoms in a medium, the sweatpants. The sweatpants, however, I did get mine in a size small. So small in the pants, medium in the shorts. Moving on to something that is just I feel like nobody can have enough of these. And I still don't know where I'm gonna put all of them. <laughs> it is a garment rack and I was looking specifically for something that what, I love the one that I have in the room before if you noticed in the background. But it was a little bit big for that space because the way that I have that room set up with filming and lighting and all of that stuff, it looks best that way but 
it corners and butts up to the closet. And so when I'm trying to open the closet, it was kind of just too cluttered and too much. So I found this like literal, it looks like a kid's or toddler um, garment rack. It's definitely on the shorter side, smaller side, but it works perfect for that space and I love it because it's a beautiful bone white color and it's got that light natural wood accent shelf on the bottom. This is perfect for me when I get new clothes and I want to film and I throw them on there. It's perfect when I'm trying to get outfits together and throw them on there. I love a good shelf at the bottom. Some of the ones that I found were great but they didn't have that shelf at the bottom and those are perfect for shoes, stacking a couple pairs of jeans. You really do need that shelf space. So this is a really good super affordable affordable garment rack that is on the smaller, more compact size. So if you were in a small room or a small apartment, you're filming, you just want something aesthetically pleasing in the corner, whatever your case may be, this is a really, really good option. Now I will say they do have bigger options available, but like I said, I opted for the smaller one because I need needed a smaller one for that space. Um, I think it was around $35, extremely affordable and super, super super cute. So it just really completes that room, ties in that white, beautiful bone color, more texture. And I just, I love it. I think it's perfect and beautiful. So I'll link it below for you guys. If you're in the need of a good garment rack. And next we are talking about shoes again, part of the fun run sale. So if you love these, they're 20% off. Also, if you've already purchased these, you are able to call target.com and get your pricing adjusted. I believe within 10 to 14 days, somewhere around there. So you just call, say you need a price adjustment. They verify that it's within the time limit and they credit your original form of payment. I think this is amazing. This is why I love Target. I'd love to be a spokesperson for Target because I think they're amazing. They have quality products. They don't skimp on customer service. I have the red card. I get my points, sales. I mean, the list goes on and on. That's for another video. So now we're talking shoes. And I've never in my life, I swear to you, never bought more shoes at one time than I have this time at Target. They're all amazing, they're all comfortable, and they are all in a size nine. Why? I don't know. I just always need to get my sandals in a size nine. So I'm gonna go through all these together with you, and you let me know which ones are your favorite because I cannot decide. Seriously, I just bought them all initially thinking, Oh, you know, I'll try them all and like I always do, I'll keep one or two. That's what I do. I buy a ton of stuff and I keep like one or two things and I return the rest. But I was like, I can't, I love them all. I cannot decide. I, I think they're all amazing. So like I said, we're going to go through them together and we are first starting out with the quilted slide sandal. These I think are adorable. They give me a little like YSL vibes, Steve Madden vibes, super thin, super light, super comfortable, and that beautiful quilted stitch, that like Chanel quilted stitch look, I love it. They also come in white, and again, I got mine in a size nine. They fit perfectly, and they were only $19.99, plus right now, they are part of the fun run, so they're 20% off. That's another $4, so about 16 bucks. You can get these shoes seriously. Where else can you get brand new shoes for $16? Um, total side note, this is another one of the graphic tees I got. Seriously, how cute is this? It's white and it's got a bunch of different um, lightning bolts on it. It does say ACDC at the bottom. I'm just here for the lightning bolts. <laughs> just, I'm here for the lightning bolts. I also got it in a 1X because you know I like my shirts oversized. So don't forget to check the plus size section if you like your shirts oversized. I'll link this one below too. Just didn't want to forget to tell you because y'all are my friends and I can't, you know, can't forget. Okay, next we are moving on to these. My mom was like, mm. <laughs> but I just love them. They're like, I don't know. They're like, I can't figure out if I just really think that they're cute or if they're like the dog that's like, it's just so ugly. It's cute. You know, I don't know, but they are braided. They're like Birkenstock vibes. They're thick platform sandal, two strap. Guys, I love these shoes. I, I just really do. I love them. Okay, so I got both, of course. I got the black and I got the, it's like a python 
colorway material texture print with the just the the white um, base at the bottom super comfortable I have a little bit of a higher arch it doesn't bother that at all again got mine in a size 9 29 bucks a little bit more on the expensive side but definitely well worth it I mean that braiding is thick they're substantial so you get six bucks off so you get them for 24 bucks about 24 dollars with the fun run sale so don't wait on that don't don't wait on that you're going to be upset. You're going to be able to not save 20% if you wait. Because if you wait, you won't be able to save that 20%. So get on it. Okay, next. These beautiful, wide, studded crossband sandals. OMG. When I saw these, I was like, what? these are from Tar. They're so cute. They're like Steve Madden. Just super cute. Kenzie, like looking I love them. They have the beautiful studs on them. They're so chic, so cute. A little bit of a, a square-ish toe. You know, I can't do the extreme square. If you saw my podcast, you won't catch me in extreme square toe. I'll link the podcast below if you're interested in that. But these are like a, a light square toe. I, I'm totally good with that. Really nice, wide straps, studs, beautiful. Got that nude underneath. So if you do see it, it's got the black in the nude or the nude on the nude. $24.99, 20% off, that's five bucks. You're getting these sandals for about $20. So super steal. Of course, I got them in both colors. They only have those two colors available, just the black and the nude. And I'm looking at it right now online as we speak, and all sizes are available in the black and all sizes are available in the white. I mean the tan, excuse me. And last but certainly not least, the one that everyone has been gossiping about, including me, and that is the Steve Madden knockoff, Steve Madden inspired uh, dupe for I don't know the name of their sandal, but it's the one with the studs all over it. The only thing is that they did not come out with this in the clear color, which is what I really wanted. But that's okay. That's okay. I got it in the nude color. They also have it in black. So tan and black. Oh, they restocked all the black um, sizes. Those were all sold out. So if you need black, and they also have them in wide, which I think is very nice. Um but they do have all sizes um, available in the regular black and then the is seven and a half to nine and a half in the tan the tan is beautiful straps around the ankle has those studs the details i mean i don't know how they don't get in trouble for this it's like a total 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 dupe for the steve madden one but the details around the shoe those little um silver studs around I mean, they're like identical. It's, it's crazy, but I love them. It's got just a tiny, 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 thin heel. Really nice. That kind of gladiator style, $24. You would get them for around 20 bucks with the sale. You cannot beat that because I wasn't about to get the Steve Madden ones because of that price tag. They were about what? $80. I think it was insane. I was like, no, thank you. I don't want anything that bad. So I didn't get them, but Glad that I waited and opted for these because they're a great alternative. I also love it because like I talked about in my podcast, if something is super, super in and out of style quickly, I don't want to spend a ton of money on them. So I won't feel guilty if next year, you know, after I've worn these a couple of times, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and donate them or whatever because I only spent $20 on them and they're out of style or I don't like them or whatever the case may be. So really, really good alternative to have that. They do have pickup and shipping available in those. So you guys do not wait on this stuff. I will link everything below for you guys and let me know what you think. All right, you guys, that is gonna wrap up my huge Target haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I, of course, will link everything down below. Please do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.